As Air Asia India's CEO Mittu Chandelia builds the foundations of the new company with his first office in Chennai, he's clear that the airline is going to be the biggest in India and that it can be a success where others have failed. It seems a very confident Chandelia uh, spoke to us, spoke to Abha, and start and where she asked by, asked him about certain voices that have expressed resentment about foreign airlines entering the Indian market. Listen into this exclusive interview. I'll be honest with you, Abha, and I probably have not said this before, mm. but. We are very much an Indian Airlines. Mm. You know, majority of our ownership is Indian. Right. 51% of it is. Uh, Air Asia is probably as close to an Indian company that you can get. Mm. It's Malaysian. You know, one of its key partners is of Indian origin, father right. from Goa, mother from Calcutta. Right. You know, and so, you know, there's a, there's a very distinctive cultural feel. And there's a respect for India, respect for what's local here. Mm. We'd be doing things which would be very different mm. here in India as opposed to what's being done in Air Asia. Okay. And uh, I think people should see us as an Indian company. Mm. Myself too, I think a big part of why I am, mm. I am here and why it made sense for me and why it made sense for Air Asia and all our stakeholders yeah. is the fact that I am Indian. I still hold my Indian passport with pride. <laughs> and um, I think it's a, it's a big part of you know, why me coming back here makes a lot of sense. So when you're talking about this price point and you sound pretty serious and you've always sounded very firm about it, um, what makes you so confident that you can manage it? Because mm -hmm. simply because the costs in the industries um, are fairly high and it is a struggle and we have, we have this constant debate about whether even the existing low-cost carriers can really be called low-cost. And we've had a low-cost carrier in the past that hasn't really managed to, to uh, sustain itself just because of the burden of uh, high costs. Uh, so, w you know, considering that a lot of the factors are the same here, yeah. how do you feel you can manage that? Well, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to answer that with a statement first. Yeah. You know, and it's a statement that Tony said many times, and I firmly believe there are no true low cost carriers in India. Mm. I truly, truly believe this. You look at the price points today, you know, today you have a low cost carrier whose fare, yeah. you know, his price is actually higher than a national carrier yeah. today. If you do that, and it's it's uh, so I, I truly believe there are no low cost carriers here. What I am actually very very confident about, and I think uh, this is this is I'm actually speaking with a confidence right. of having some early wins internally with the team, is we're challenging status quo. Mm. We're challenging a lot of the factors that people are saying can't be done. You can't drop this this way, and that's where I think I'm getting really excited. We're getting these little little quick wins. And they're little stepping stones that we're building off of. Okay. And, and you know, it's cost again. Mm -hmm. There's no one big ticket item that we're going to suddenly wave off and it's going to be our magic that we're going to share. But I think it's a discipline across the board. Okay. We're aiming for incremental gains in little, little aspects. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where, I think when you pull that together as an aggregate, we're working off, you know, thinner margins. Mm -hmm. But my goal is really to deliver that fare that people would be excited about traveling.